Hello, I'm Sal Mercagliano. I'm a member of the North American Society of Oceanic History. As everyone's aware of, COVID-19 has upset plans personal and professionally. Uh, this past year, we were slated to have the NASO conference in beautiful Pensacola, Florida. Didn't happen. As many of you are experiencing, we are shut up in our homes and not able to participate in work, personal aspects, but more importantly, some professional aspects. And with the shutdown for the NASO conference, we had on board to bring over 50 historians to present on their research, uh, areas of interest, and a great program as we have at every NASO conference since the 1970s. Uh, with the cancellation, we've decided to go virtual. And what we're going to be doing over the next year, and perhaps even longer, is hosting a series of podcasts and videos on our YouTube channel and through podcast platforms with those scheduled to present. We'll be interviewing them, talking about their research, what they had planned to present, but we'll also be talking about how they got interested into the field of maritime history, methods of research, some advice for up-and-coming historians and maritime researchers. Uh, it's a great organization, North American Society of Oceanic History. We have historians who've been doing this for a long time. We have some in the middle of their careers. And more importantly, we have a lot of young graduate students and those interested in the field just coming up. Uh, it's a great networking. One of the greatest things about NASO conferences is the opportunity to network and get to know people. And one of the things we hope to bring with you with this video and podcast is some of those individuals so that you'll be able to hear them, see them, and learn from not just their research, but also their experiences. Uh, we publish a quarterly journal in concert with a sister organization, the Canadian Nautical Research Society, CNRS. Uh, we are able to bring those papers that do very well at our conference and publish them in a peer-reviewed journal. We're hoping to get those published papers, those authors, on board our video podcasts to talk about it. We also award every year the John Lyman Book Awards in different categories of maritime and naval history. Uh, we're going to have the winners and those with honorable mentions on the podcast and videos over the next year. Great opportunity for them to showcase their research, their papers, their books, and talk about it. And really the most important thing is if you're like me, you've been cooped up a lot. You've been digesting a lot of podcasts and videos. And one of the things that we've noticed is there's kind of a lack out there of, of good maritime history podcasts. Been a lot of talks, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, presentations going on. We were very fortunate that two of our young grad students who won the Clark Reynolds Prize for their work uh, had been able to get on board the Preble Hall podcast, which is done through the U.S. Naval Academy. Claude Berbe did that. Uh, and what we want to do is build on that. We want to create something that doesn't compete with our sister podcasts and videos, but is complimentary. And we hope to bring you two videos at least a week during the summertime, probably down to one once uh, academic school year starts. But uh, we have our first podcast slated to present today, Friday, June 5th at noon, an interview that I did with Dr. John Beeler at the University of Alabama. Uh, he's talking about Britain, Spain, the United States, and the Cuban slave trade during the Civil War. But he also goes into some of his research, his research into Dr. Uh, excuse me, into Admiral Sir Alexander Milne, for example. And then we'll have other presenters and other historians and archaeologists and students over the course of this podcast. Uh, so we hope you join us. We hope you tune in to our YouTube channel. We ask that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and if you hit the bell, you'll be informed whenever a new pod, a new video comes up. You can also uh, look at our podcasts. Uh, our podcasts are on Spotify right now. We hope to get them on more platforms out there. But if you really want to follow us, there's several ways to do that. We're on Twitter at NASO underscore history. On Facebook, we have a NASO group you can join. And the best way to stay up with NASO is to become a member of NASO. If you go to www.naso.org, uh, you'll see our webpage. You can go over to membership. You can join NASO. You can join our sister organization. But more importantly, a membership in either of our organizations gets you the quarterly Northern Mariner peer-reviewed journal. Uh, articles, book reviews, and a lot of insight to what's going on into maritime history. So we hope this is the beginning of a, a, a long and fruitful relationship uh, with the NASO podcast and videos. We hope that you tune in, uh, enjoy them, uh, and provide some feedback too on them. Uh, there are ways to provide feedback uh, through the videos individually and through our social media platforms. 
So I look forward to seeing you on our podcasts, on our videos, and going forward. Thank you, and keep sailing.